Oh, good day. I'm Trevor. See you found my fishing spot. Wasn't that much of a secret after all. Hey guys, had some questions about how to put bait on a hook. Uh, live bait, dead bait, if it's soft bait. Uh, we'll start off live bait. I'm not going to use live bait today. One way to do it is just under the shoulder in front of the little fin. Just through the shoulder. Making sure you don't hit the bone or the nerve. It hangs like that. The fish will swim around erratically. That's a sure way that I've normally Another done it. Another way to do it if it is a larger fish. Just up under the chin here. You find the little gap there. Poke it through. You will find the soft part in the nose there. Not too far up the head, or you will damage the brain and kill the fish. But it's just up through there. It will hold tightly, and the fish will swim into the current, and it will stay alive all day. Another way to hook a live fish is around about the tail area. You go in between, making sure again not to hit the bone or the nerves. Make sure there's no scales hooked on the end of the hook. That way the fish will swim around more erratically like it is injured. That's also another good way to hook if a live fish. If you do have fish. a live, large, a very large mullet, a live one, I'm not using a live one today. Yeah, but if you've got a very large mullet and you go to actually put your hook in it, you'll actually bury the hook. Uh, the best way to get around this is with a bait needle and a rubber band. To do this, just put the rubber band on. With a live, live mullet, you just feed it through the shoulder, like so. With the hook through the rubber band. Pulling the rubber band through, hook that onto the hook. What you need to do then is twist your rubber band around till it tightens. Hook through like that. That will hold the bait quite securely. And not only that, the whole hook is bared when it's in the water. You just leave it, the line go relatively loose. The fish will swim around. Anything that does come will take that. And it will get, the whole hook is bared. Needle through, rubber band. Hook him over. Wind it around. to hook the hook through. They do hang there nicely. If your bait is dead and very soft, a good way to do it is just pass it straight through, pass it, make sure there's no scales on it, pass your hook straight through the fish. At this stage, what you need to do is loop it down underneath the scales, underneath the skin, as far through as you can get it pull it through. That way the hook is fully bared, like so, taking the scales off the hook again, because they will stop the bite. And then what you do is a half hitch and over the tail. That way it will hold. The full hook is bared, guaranteed to get a hook up. And the fish won't fall apart because it is being held by the knot. If you're concerned about it giving way, put a second knot around. That way she'll never let go. I've been using that one lately and it's been very successful.
when you're baiting up with triple hooks, I found the best way to do it is grab your hooks, place it next to your fish, mark the spot where you actually want to start the hook, where that top one goes through the eye. First hook through. Second hook through. And the third one should line up with the eye. Hook's bared. It'll hang like that in the water. That is the best way I have found to do the triple hook. Another way I have found it is if it is soft dead bait, just pass it through the eye, the whole hook. Pass the hook through the body of the fish, pull up, it will hang like that. Hook bed. Hey guys, also with dead bait, if you are going to do a slow retrieve, up through the bottom of the jaw again, through the centre, make sure it is through the centre, that way when you pull it, it will be pulling the fish forward and normally when the predator fish come they always do bite at the head end so they will get the hook that's really good for a slow retrieve and also I have found that is good for dead bait and for live bait but you will notice the hook I am using for the demonstration is a wide gap hook I have been using them exclusively lately uh, every now and then for the big fish I do use a circle hook but I've been using these 2.0 wide gap hooks. I have found them very successful. They do catch the fish in the corner of the mouth very seldom. Do I find that they actually gill or gut hook the fish? They always seem to catch them on the corner of the mouth. And being thin wire, they do rust off if they do get caught in the fish. For baits like squid with the tentacles hanging off them, hook it through the top. A uh, couple of times to make sure it holds on, making sure that the hook is bared. So when it hangs up, it does actually look like natural with the tentacles hanging off. Please subscribe, click the bell for notifications and share if you like. You have a good day.